Welcome to another DTS support video. Today we're going to be doing uh, looking at connections and we're going to be looking at connecting a laptop or MacBook Pro to a hard drive camera run through a Canopus box and also connecting to that Canopus box a Sony DV Direct. This setup gives us a lot of options. One, it burns the DVD through the DV Direct while the game is being played. So immediately after the game, if you have film share requirements or want a hard copy of the game, it's immediately available on the DVD. So that's the DV Direct. Um, the hard drive camera obviously is going to record whatever we want, our game, and it's going to record it in a high def uh, format. So that'll be another video how to get that high def format off of that camera, but it is possible. Uh, and then what we have is the Canopus box plugged into the hard drive camera directly into the laptop, giving us the ability to not only code or capture the game live, we can also code that game live. So while the game is being played, if you have somebody just clicking your buttons in your code window, at the end of the game on the laptop, you can have the game broken down already, at least in some form or capacity, depending on that person's ability to code while the game is being played. But really, any amount of coding is a huge time saver, plus having that game on there is, again, huge time saver. So we're going to show you how to connect that up and hopefully cover some of the more advantages of what this gives you. Let's take a look at the equipment. So here's the equipment that you need to uh, get this thing set up. Obviously, we got our Sony DV Direct. I think the new ones are black, but uh, same idea. We have our Canopus box. This is an old black one. Um, the newer ones are going to be white or gray. The model that typically is used, it's going to be the same. It's called an ADVC 110. Again, here's the box. It's the same setup as what we're going to use, except the, these newer ones don't require a power source. The black one that we're going to be showing you in the setup will. Um, if you have an ADVC 55, which is gray, this box, um, you won't be able to connect the DV direct to it, but you can connect the camera. So again, um, let us know what your needs are, um, and once you know what you all that's required, then we can make sure you get the right model. So again, Canopus box, similar to the ADVC 110. We're going to be using this camera, a little uh, small Sony, the, it's a uh, HDR CX190, really any hard drive camera that has a, an AV output, which most of them do, will uh, work for what we want to set up. You have your RCA cables, RCA cables being a, just white, yellow, and red. Those you'll, you'll probably have to buy separately. There should be a set. These are the ones that came with our camera. ADVC, and this is the port that goes from the camera, or goes to the camera. Show you where that goes. And finally, you'll need a firewire. Um, the ADVC needs a 6-pin. You can also get a 4-pin um, firewire cable. And then the newer laptops need this connection, which is a 9-pin firewire cable. So again, for this one, we have a six to nine. All right, and obviously then we have our MacBook Pro sitting right here. All right, so let's go ahead and get uh, set up. So take our ADVC 110 here. Um, connections really don't matter what order you put them in as long as um, they're in before you turn everything on. Um, so again, as far as order is concerned, so your camera here, plug that in. So our firewire is plugged into our Canopus box, and then um, gonna take our Sony DV Direct. It'll be a little bit out of the screen, but I'll bring it in back in when it's needed. We're gonna take the RCAs. Pretty simple. Match the colors up. Video is yellow, the other one's for audio, so uh, technically I guess you can do without the red and white if you're not caring about audio, but I would say that's typically something we want. Now this part needs to go in to the uh, video out on the back. The front RCA cables on this ADVC are for the in. That's what's going to be for our camera, so again, make sure you got the colors lined up. The out is in the back. And for our camera, right there, you can see right there, that's the uh, AV, uh, AV port on the camera. That's where this cable is going to go. Put 
plug that in. And then we plug these into the front of the Canopus box. So now that we have everything plugged in, I'll plug in the power source and then we'll um, pick up from here how to get everything running. Okay, and we're back. We got everything powered up. Run you through this. Obviously, we have our laptop. At the top, you can see Game Breaker. Here we have the Sony DV Direct, and you can tell it's all hooked up correctly because in the feed box, you can see what is coming in from our other camera, which I can move around and you can see it changing, things like that. So we could record and a DVD would burn of the footage as we have coming in. Down here we have our ADVC 100, it's our Canopus box. Um, it's the same as the 110. In the front you have two button, two lights. One is digital, one is analog. This is controlled by this little silver button at the top so we can change the feed like that and back. It needs to be on analog, again this one to the right, for everything to work, not digital. And obviously we have our little hard drive camera coming directly in. Okay, now let's jump on to Game Breaker. Click Capture. And as you can see, coming in from our little hard drive camera over there is our footage. So we can then start a capture, burn, which so on our laptop, while the game's being played, you can see it coming in. If we had a code window up, we could begin coding and as well the DV Direct is handling our DVD so at the end we have the hard copy as well. Again depends on what your needs are but the better we have an idea for that the better we can fit the technology to your needs and goals. Alright we got some other connection videos coming up here uh, shortly we hope um, so stay stay put or stay tuned and we'll keep you up to date with all the options you got. Alright thanks see ya.